CAT 2024 LRDI set from slot 3. It says the table given below shows the amount in grams of carbohydrate, protein, fat and all other nutrients per 100 grams of nutrients in 7 food grains. So different kind of nutrients, carbohydrate, protein, fat and other nutrients out of total 100 grams. Each of these will be added up to 100. The first column shows the food grain category and the second column its code name. Food grain category, cereal, code name C1, C2. Millet, M1, M2, M3. Swedish cereal, two types of Swedish cereal, P1 and P2. Now it says the following additional facts are known. So this looks like a typical distribution problem, quant based distribution problem where you need to figure out some numbers, some linear equations, where you need to solve it, some integral solutions and fill the values. Now let's try to understand from questions if this set was worth attempting it. So question, all the questions are theta problems. That means there is a certain answer, right? So in these kind of situations, you can simply understand that it's possible to fill all the values, right? Or even if you uh, are not able to fill all the values, it's possible to get a exact answer of these questions once you are done with the table. So definitely this set was one of the sets in slot 3 which was worth attempting. So let's try this one. It says both pseudo cereals had higher amounts of carbohydrate as well as higher amounts of protein than any millet. So each of these pseudo cereal has higher amount of carbohydrate as well as protein than all of these three, right? So for now, I will see that out of M1, M2, highest is 50, 62. This must be greater than 62. Now this could be greater than 62 but in that case we will have to increase this value but let's for now whatever information is given let's write it down then in case of protein also in each of these pseudo cereal the protein is greater than any of these three millet so this is already 14 in p1 it must be at least greater than 10 okay rest of the two could be greater than 10 in that case, we will have to adjust this one. We will have to take greater than all the three. But as per now, whatever information is known, I am writing that. Then it says, both the cereals had higher amount of carbohydrate than any pseudo cereal. Both the cereals, C1 and C2, had higher amount of carbohydrate than both the pseudo cereals. So for now, again, well, uh, higher of these values is 66 and also known both of these values must be greater than 66. Then it says all the missing values of carbohydrate amounts for all the food grains are non-zero multiples of 5. Means all the values whatever missing here are multiple of 5. Then it says all the missing values of protein fat and other nutrients amounts for all the food grains are non-zero multiples of 4. So in case of rest of them, all the missing values must be multiple of 4. So let's write it down like this so that we can realize it while solving. We can use it while filling the table. Now it says P1 contain double the amount of protein that M3 contain. P1 contains double the amount that M3. M3 has protein value which is multiple of 4. If I take this as 4A, can I say this will must be 8A? Right? Now, if we start from here, if we start from here, this information looks useful. If this is multiple of 8, can I say 66 plus 10 is 76? Sum of these two value must be 24. This number must be multiple of 8. Right. And must also be greater than 10. 
So multiple of 8, if I take this will be 16, then this will be 8 greater than 10. And after 16, I will have to take 24. But if I take this 24, this will become 0, which is not possible. It says non-zero multiples of 4. So in that case, we can simply say that this value will be 16. This value will be 8. And then this value will also be 8 because this is just double of this one. So now, where do we go? From here, again, what information? We don't go random numbers. Where can we go from here? So we know that these two values are greater than this and this value is greater than this. So let us start with this one because these two are greatest out of these seven values. So this value must be multiple of 5. If I am writing 5m plus this value must be multiple of 4. So 5m plus or maybe 5x plus 4y. 5x plus 4y is equal to, so in this case, 12 plus 0 is 12. So rest 2 must be added up to 88. Now this 4y must be even, right? So this one must also be even. This is already a multiple of 5. So we can say this must be a multiple of 2 also, just to make it even, right? So this number must be multiple of 10. So if I take this 70, this will be 18, which is not possible because this is a multiple of 4. So what do we do? Next multiple of 10, if I take this 80, this will be 28, which makes sense, right? If I take this 80, this will be 28. Now next number, if I take this 90, this will be 18, which is again not possible. I cannot take more than that. I cannot even take 88, sorry, 90, because sum is 88. So we are done with this one. Now in this case, C2, 10 plus 7 is 13. So in that case, this sum will be 87, right? If this is 87, sum is odd, this will be even. That means this must be odd. <coughs> so in that case, this number is greater than 66. Number is odd, multiple of 5, greater than 66, but odd multiple, because this must be even. Even plus odd plus even plus odd will become even, 100. Total sum should be 100. So greater than 66, I can take not 70. I can take 75. If this is 75, then this must be 12. The next odd multiple of 5, if I take 85, then this will be 2, which is not possible. So this is correct, right? Now let's come here, P2. We know that this value must be less than 75 and greater than 62. Now sum of this value and this value, which is 5x plus 4z is equal to 14 plus 8 is 22. This must be 78. And sum is even, so rest of the two numbers must also be even because this is already multiple of 4, this is multiple of 5 and even multiple of 10, right? greater than 62, multiple of 10, what is the possible value? Can we say, I can take only 70, greater than 62, less than 75, multiple of 10. If this is 70, this will be 8. Makes sense. Everything is neat and clean till now. Now, what about this value? In this value, this must be less than 66, right? So again, 16 plus 7 is 23, what we can say that this must be 5x plus 4y is equal to 77. So this is even, this must be odd, again odd multiple of 5, which is, which is less than 66. So greatest number that I can take is 65 for now. If I take 65, this will be 12. Then odd multiple of 5 less than 65 will be 55. If I take this 55, this will be 22, which is not a multiple of 4. As well as we know that P1, P2 is greater than M1, M2, M3 in terms of protein, right? So we cannot go further. 
Now what's left in this case, you can see here, 56 plus 8 is 64 plus 12. 64 plus 12, 76, then this will be 24. What about this one? 62 plus 10, 72. Sum of rest of the two numbers must be 28. Now there is no condition regarding these two values. Other than that both of them should be multiple of 4. So it could be 4 plus 24, 8 plus 20, 12 plus 16 and vice versa as well. So we don't know anything about these values. If I take this as a multiple of 4, let's say 4a, then this will be 28 minus 4. That's it. This is what we know about these two values. Okay. Now, let's solve these questions. First question, it says, how many food grains had a higher amount of carbohydrates per gram nutrients than M1? M1 is 62. Greater than 62. A1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? How many food grains? So our answer is 5 in this case. Okay. Then, next question. How many grams of protein were there in 100 grams of nutrients? In M2, in M2, protein, 12 grams, okay. I need to find this M2 millet, right. It's a 12 gram protein out of 100 gram is very rare. How many grams of other nutrients were there in 100 grams of nutrients in M3? How many grams of other nutrients were there in 100 grams of M3? M3, M3, 24. So our answer for this question is 24 grams. Even better, right? What is the median of the number of grams of protein in 100 grams of nutrients among these food grains? What is the median? We need to find the median. How do we find the median? When we arrange given information, given data in ascending order, then the middle number is the median, right? So 8, 8. 10, 12, 12, 14, and 16. The middle number, the fourth number is 12. So our median is 12. And that is our answer. And so we are done with this set. Okay, thank you.